morning. We are at Hedong Yonggun So. It is arguably one of the prettiest temples here in Korea. And we started a little bit late today, took it quite easy, went, got a quick breakfast of some baked goods and coffee outside of one of the stations. Took a bus ride that was crazy all the way up here. And now, yeah, we're along the coast, just checking out the Buddhas that are at this temple and all the structures. It's just, it's such an amazing place, particularly because of all the bridges and all the different items. So it's like you could go underground to see a Buddha in a cave. You could go up the mountain to see the, the goddess that's staring out to the ocean. You know, you could go over to one of the chapels to see a Buddha lying down, like, on his side. It's really awesome, and it struck some chords with, like, Chris, at least. He was reminded of another temple in Myanmar that he went to, but... We'll uh, check right in a moment. We're going to go do the Skyline Luge next. So maybe I'll get some cool 360 shots of that. Or uh, I haven't flown the drone once yet. I'd like to try to do that at least one time while I'm here in Korea. Anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll check back in a moment. All right, and now we are at Songjong Beach. We finished up at the temple, walked uh, across the street pretty much, went and did the Busan Luge, which was a new experience for quite a few of the folks here. It was a ton of fun, at least I know Lynn and I had fun. I hope everyone else did too. Always do. Yeah, we're gonna be doing it again. So there is a, a follow-up, a revenge tour, so to say. And uh, we're waiting here at the beach to uh, get some toast. Yep, this is our lunch slash snack. It's at a weird time, but we'll get the food, eat, hop onto a train, go into a Hyundai area, and then maybe go to a museum. I don't know, like Julia has to leave pretty soon here. So it is only 3.30 though, thinking about it. So let's go to the museum, I guess, depending on how long this takes, then go get dinner. And then after dinner, Julia is gonna bounce. As for the, uh, the luge, Maybe I'll just overlay, hopefully it looks like a uh, Mario Kart, because I, I used the 360 cam and that was really all I did with that. Anyhow, we're uh, enjoying watching all these folks learning how to surf and playing dodgeball on the beach. <laughs> we'll uh, check back in in a moment here. All right, and welcome back. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me over the music, but we left the beach and took the Hyundai Blue Line train, which is also included in our Busan Pass, from the beach all the way to Hyundai Beach. And once we got to Hyundai Beach, we went to a famous puffer fish restaurant for dinner. And go look up the puffer fish restaurant name real quick. The puffer fish place was Gem Subokguk, and it was amazing. Like, out of all of us, only Ben was able to experience puffer fish. And so the rest of us, this was our first time and it was amazing. Like the soup, the guksu part was so good. And the sashimi was all right. The fried puffer fish was delicious. Everything overall was just amazing. Now I will say, I don't feel like my, my mouth is numb. It is what it is. After dinner, we actually left quite a bit of food. We tried eating it all, but it was just way too much food. Julia has left. She's gone to Seoul now. Her flight is tomorrow at midnight, and we're going to Yeosu. So we split up at the main road right in front of Hyundai Beach so that we could come here where we're at currently and that is Ryan Holiday in Busan. Now it's said that they close at 10 but I think the thing that closes at 10 for them is the cafe and restaurant area which I'm currently sitting in whereas the actual like experience that they have that is part of the Visit Busan Pass is already closed. Now a lot of this stuff they have here is actually i wouldn't say closed but like it doesn't look like it's ready yet so this is something fairly new and because of that it, it just doesn't look like it's 100 percent completed or, or prepped for people to be walking around other than that the place is pretty cool it has a lot of places for photos so we've been taking photos they're also blaring a lot of k-pop we're gonna be 
back in the hotel in a moment here and then tomorrow we actually have an early call time because we're renting a car and then driving from busan to yesu so if anything this is where i'm gonna end it for the night this is it we're done yeah the busan's been awesome it's been lynn's favorite city so far we'll have to see what she thinks of yosu and uh, and jianju uh before going back to seoul anyhow we will call it here and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.